just before this video starts everyone i'm giving away one thousand pounds to one lucky person all you have to do is three simple steps one is subscribe to my youtube two follow my instagram and three share this video for the person who's thinking well how do i know if i win it's, it's very simple. All you have to do is watch my Instagram. As soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do an Instagram live video. Everyone's going to comment their number from 1 to 1,000. And I'm going to go on to Google Generator. I'm going to put from 0 to 1,000. And whatever number comes up, that lucky person is going to win £1,000. Let's get on with the video. Good luck to everyone. Welcome back to the channel guys, brutally honest here. Today we're doing a vlog on a 1.5 litre three cylinder car. These cars run 200 brake horsepower standard and 200 foot pounds of torque. What do you think of this guys? Have a look at this. Costa, thanks for coming on the channel. So, how long have you had this Fiesta ST for? About a month and a half. About a month and a half to two months, yeah. It's a nice car, it's very, it's very, very clean. Obviously, it should be for the year and how long you've had it for. But it's the performance pack you said, yeah? Yeah, so they only make 600 of these and couldn't change the spec. So, the spec comes in orange, it comes with the coil over, so it's lowered by 15 miles from uh, 10 miles back. Yeah. And it comes with uh, a cordless wheel, which are 7 kg lighter compared to the steel. And they have forged wheels, yeah? Yeah, forged Yeah. So you said that they do only 600 in yeah, the performance 600. model, yeah? Yeah. What, and they're all in that colour? Yeah, they're all in this colour, same spec, everything same. Yeah, and you can't change the spec, yeah, you said, no. Just one of that. Fair enough. So it must be fast for 200 brake horsepower and 200 foot pounds at all. Yeah, so I think 60 is about 6.5 seconds. But when the tower kicks in, it feels nice. Yeah. yeah. Is this the first sort of performance car you've had, or? Yeah, I went from a 1.2 liter horsepower to this. So it must have been a massive improvement yeah, then. <laughs> yeah, no, the car, the car is really clean. I like, I do like them forge wheels. They look really nice. So is this like the top spec one you can get then, yeah? Yeah, this has the, it has the SP3 package which is the level of power seats. Yeah. It has like the, all the trim design which makes replicate the carbon fiber. Yeah. And, and I think that's it. Yeah. So you're saying so you're saying my before we started the video, the actual carbon fiber is like a look alike, it's yeah. not actually real. I think all the like maybe all the wheels are the same but the carbon fiber is like really thick and yeah. it's like really thick. Yeah. It's a shame really for the amount yeah. of money like the car costs you'd expect exactly. it to sort of be actually real carbon wouldn't you? Exactly. But yeah no we'll, uh, we'll take it for a drive so yeah the next video will be probably a few little revs start up and we'll go for a drive. We'll see you soon, everyone. Hopefully you lot can hear with the wipers on and the rain hitting the windscreen. 
But yeah, the car, the car actually handles really good. You're saying it had, uh, they come with uprated suspension and standard. Yeah. Got a, like, I think, I can't remember the brand of it, but it's like, worth like £1,500. Uh, yeah. So it's a decent suspension kit. Yeah, no, that's, it, feel, it, it actually feels really planted. Like for being a small car, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Totally standard car, it actually does like you can feel it pull. Yeah, I was surprised how how how, how aggressive it pulled. Yeah. I did not expect that to pull like this. Well, like you said, from coming from a 1.2, did you say 1.2 pulls? Yeah, 1.2 no, 60 in 16 seconds. 16? Yeah. <laughs> Unless it did not move. And this does six seconds. Yeah, six seconds. Well, that's a big noticeable difference than an yeah, 10 second game, can't they? But this, this weather is absolutely terrible, but at the end of the day, I just wanted to do a, uh, more content for you lot. Obviously, some content's better than no content, even though it is absolutely hammering it down. But are you looking to go stage one or stage two on it, or just keep it stopped for now? I might stage run it for now and then see how it goes and yeah. then maybe stage two. Yeah. And then but when I actually do it I might just go straight to stage two. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, in my honest opinion, if you was gonna go stage one then stage two, yeah. you'll probably save money just going straight, straight to stage two. two. Yeah. And you know what it's like owning a car like this, you're gonna go stage one, be bored of the power after a couple of weeks exactly. or wanna go stage two anyway. But no, I love the colour man. And it's actually strange how they actually only come in this colour in the performance you're saying. Yeah. So they don't act, they don't do no other colour in the performance, it's yeah. only orange. They have an ST edition, which is uh which is like this, there's two hundred. But it's like a, it's similar to the Focus RS blue colour. Yeah. And there's only 200 of them ones. So are they more rarer than these ones? Yeah. Then? I think they, they, they're 2021, I think. Or yeah. 2020, yeah. Right left, yeah. So what's the, do you know what the difference in power is compared to them? The powers are exactly the same. They yeah. didn't touch nothing to do with the power or like the engine, nothing. No. Yeah, it's mainly cosmetic and like handling wise. So would you recommend this car for sort of people your sort of age or a bit younger or? Would you if you're looking for a car for like that will hold its value 100% because because there's only a little bit the demand for these are high Yeah But if you're looking for the same performance with by a cheaper price I would just not get the normal ST and like yeah. change the wheels on it because the wheels are a bit ugly on the normal STs Yeah So Obviously, for how much did you say it cost? A hundred, a hundred, uh, twenty-one. You said. Yeah, they go for about twenty-two, twenty-three grand. See, that's a, quite a lot of money for a Fiesta. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's limited edition, and exactly. that, and you said as well, like they actually gone up even more now in value yeah. since you've actually bought it. In the last month or so, it's gone up by like three grand. So that's the thing in this day and age now. The, the, like the, co the COVID has literally made every single car jump up in value so much. Exactly. It's unreal how much they've gone up. But I love, I love the standard pops and bangs it's got. It's not, it's not too much. It's like nice. Do you know what it's I mean? It's got a nice tone to it. Yeah, it's got a nice tone to it. Being the standard platform. Well, to hard to break it pops a lot. Yeah, but it's not too much though, is yeah. it? It's like a nice pop and bang. But no, like the car is fast. Obviously, you would expect it to be. Do you know how much these weigh, roughly? No idea. I think it's got to be around twelve hundred, yeah, right, thirteen hundred max, isn't it? Yeah. Because I, I like the way they've got the power and the yeah. foot pounds of torque exactly the same. Yeah. Do you reckon that will stay like that when you tune it? So say if it makes 300 brake, do you reckon it will come to like 300 foot pounds? I or? think I was checking, if it goes to about 260 brake, it goes to about 240 foot pounds at all. So it's roughly near yeah. enough the same. But no, I do, I do think it looks nice inside as well. Obviously all the new cars in this day and age, 
they're all putting like fancy screens in, yeah. and stuff like that. I like the seats as well, they're actually comfortable. Yeah, they're not more comfortable seats. Yeah, they're not too tight, considering yeah. I'm like bigger than you, like I'd thought that'd be a bit tight sitting in them. Yeah. But they're not actually that tight, they actually feel nice. Everyone that's going in the car says these are one of the most comfortable seats they've been in. Yeah, no, they are really comfortable. Are you going to go on track on this car? 100%. Yeah? Yeah. See, it's, it's funny because every person I've asked who's been on my channel, most of them say, no, it's just show and shine or for friends. But as soon as I asked you, you're like instantly 100%. What's the point of owning a car like this if you're not going to use it to the max? It's true though, isn't it? Yeah. Like most people will buy this car to sit in a car park and do nothing. Yeah, I can level. This is my daily driver. Yeah, exactly. Do you reckon it's good on fuel for people? What are Horrible. Them? Is it bad, yeah? Horrible. I do it like 60 to 80 pounds of fuel a week. Yeah. So what do you know? What, what's the miles per gallon? Do you know? Um, it says it's 38. But if you connect to the app, it will give you your average in the last month. I might average about 23. Yeah. Yeah. So it's sort of mid. Can go left there. It's sort of mid then. It's not horrific and it's yeah. not very good. But I've, I didn't know that these were a 1.5 three cylinder. Yeah. Like that's that's a lot of power. Like now, a 1.5 three cylinder. Yeah, and it. Yeah, it shuts up one of the cylinders for fuel consumption and make it more eco boost and then it opens it up. So, so it actually goes to a two cylinder? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, for the amount of power they can put down, for, for it only being a three cylinder, it's crazy. I actually can't believe it. it's a three cylinder and shuts down to a two cylinder. Because the older ones are what, a five cylinder? I think four cylinder. Four cylinder. Yeah. And the focus is on the five cylinder. Yeah, focus yeah. is five cylinder. What, did they shut down a cylinder as well? With like, uh, no, because they don't. I don't like, think they do, don't they? I think it's only because of the eco boost. Oh, what sort of eco boost actually shut down yeah. a cylinder then? Fair enough. Are you looking to keep it long? I would keep it for around a year. Uh, depending, like, if it goes up, if it goes up by a lot, then I'll sell it within a year. Yeah. But if it doesn't, then I might enjoy it for another year. It depends on what insurance costs I can get on other cars. What are you looking to get next if you go? Uh, either a, a Nitrous Blue Focus RS, the Mark 3s, yeah. or a RX-7. Yeah? Yeah. So that's that's two completely different cars. Like yeah. Why, 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 how comes it's such a difference in cars what you're looking for? Obviously, I've always wanted the JDM car ever since the Fast Furious films. Especially yeah. since Hans, Hans Fields had RX-7. Yeah. But I know how high maintenance RX-7s are. Yeah, a lot. And then the Focus RS, they're just going crazy in price right now. They just keep going up. And Even the Mark 3s are going up. Yeah, the Mark 3s are sitting around 20, 26 to like 32 grand. If you get like low mileage, especially in the Nitrous Blue because it's so sought after. Yeah. And in my opinion, that's the best hatchback you can get because it performs well, looks nice, and they're great on track, drift mode, everything. Yeah, and no, it's got well, the drift mode, I've seen a few people end up in a ditch in the drift yeah. mode, you know what I mean? But no, I'm, I don't know, it's, I think it's crazy how they can only do one colour in a performance. I don't really like quite understand that. Yeah. I thought they would have done a bit more difference because I've never seen one of these. Yeah, so you can differentiate them. So if you have a performance edition, everyone will know it's the performance edition. Yeah. If they change the colours around, like if you had a black one, then you wouldn't really. It would yeah. be like the way you did a focus, the focus RS uh, replicas. Yeah. You know it's that, but you won't know it's actually that. Yeah, no, I understand. But yeah, you can. Put your foot down if you want, I feel what it's like. Like 
it ain't like old cars, do you know what I mean? See, when yeah. you're in like an old car and it just feels savage. Yeah, but, very aggressive. Yeah, these don't feel like that no more, do they? Yeah. All new cars are so smooth. Unless you're getting something like what you said your dad's got. Yeah. Like 900 brake horsepower plus GTR, that'll feel savage, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it feels like crazy. But stock form, is that like, they're so smooth, they don't really feel fast. Yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be a short video today, guys. So I'm gonna end the video now. But is there anything you want me to plug in the description, like your social medias or anything? Yeah, my Instagram is costa.pantelli, C-O-S-T-A dot P-A-N-T-E-L-I. Yeah, I'll put it in the description anyway. I'll get you to give me your details. Is that, is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for watching the video. Just make sure you please share, subscribe and like. And there'll be more content coming your way. Sorry about the weather. Bye.